See you later, dear. Take the car to work. Lisa and I will walk to school. Since the weather's nice. Mm -hmm. And we need to get exercise after the flu, right? So tonight, we are going to a restaurant. It's a senior manager's birthday, and he is my immediate boss. By the way, which means... That'll be very charming, and I will look stunning. <laughs> I'm sure you will, dear. Bye-bye, honey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, my dear. Take care. Yes. Come here, I'll fix that. Mom, do you think Uncle <laughs> Alex loves you? Yes, I think he loves me. Do you love him? Yes, I think I love him. Why don't you get married, then? Well, I don't even know how to answer that, dear. Probably because we... We're not ready to get married yet. And you know... Uncle Alex must not love only me, but you as well. He needs to love you as much as I love you, all right? All right. Lisa, don't run around like crazy, all right? Your body is still recovering from the flu. Lisa, did you hear me? Yes, Mom. Do you believe in dreams? I do, of course. Do you remember when we went to the lake for a vacation? Yes, I remember. Do you remember we saw some cranes? They live there. I remember then. I had a dream about them last night. I was flying through the sky with them, to the sun. Lisa, please don't fantasize, dear. You always say weird things. It's true. I drew my dream in my notebook. I can show you now. Okay, but hurry up. Here, you see? Here's the lake, our house. The birds are flying. And that's me, with them. You like it? It was just a dream, okay? Lisa, hurry up or you will be terribly late. Let's go. This way. Come on. Cranes are going south. Auntie, I can't sleep for breakfast. I'm late. What did you say? Come on, sit and have breakfast. You'll be on time for work. Okay, but I'll be quick. Yes, yes, everything's ready. Look, the food is ready. Come and sit, my dear nephew. Yeah, thanks. Just a sip. Please, sit down like a gentleman. Thank you. Here's a napkin. And now, bon appetit. Enjoy. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> you know, dear, I ran into a friend from school yesterday. Her name's Masha. Do you remember her? Mm. Well, she has a son, mm. and you are mm. both around the same age. Oh, really? Yes. <sighs> and her son finally got married, you know. <laughs> I'm so happy for him. <laughs> Ah, uh, when will you find a nice woman to marry, my dear? I'm working on it, Auntie. I'm working on it. Ivan, dear, I don't think you're working on it. Mm. I know I'm not your mother, and I'm not your real aunt either, mm. but I still watched you grow up, mm. and now you have no one but your brother. So you should listen to me. You need to get married, dear. You Auntie, need to I need meet to go. someone. Mm. Where are you going? I'm late, I'm late. Really? Come on, mm. where are you going? Uh, mm. Wait, wait, it's a beautiful uh -huh. day. Come on, we need to talk about this. I have somebody for you. You're going to love her. Come on, dear. Just come back later. I'll have her here, okay? And you'll meet her. Auntie, if you only knew how difficult it is to find a woman. Oh, before. come on. She's so beautiful. You need to meet her. It should be perfect Auntie, for you. Bye -bye. Really? Need to go. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Once again, I want to congratulate everyone on the upcoming new academic year. Now I want to give a microphone to the most successful businessman of our region, our great friend and chairman of the private charity foundation called Children's Smile. Welcome, Mr. Ivan Zervin. Thank you, Mrs. Petrov. Thank you. Dear children, I want to congratulate you on the beginning of a new academic year. For some, this will be their first year. Some are a little older, but I think that it will be a celebration for everyone. 
I want to say a few words about our fund. So why do we call it Children's Mile? Because we He's want nice, to convey right? that we care about the a children's like that well-being make a woman feel safe anyway, which can don't you only think? be attained when you care um, about and our I don't children's think he's married. Oh, really? And the community is involved. Mm -hmm. Never been married, no kids either. So I'm thinking, could be we together. As I was saying, could I seduce him? Of course you can, my friend. From hmm? this I think you should try. Years, and we'll be yeah. doing so <laughs> for many more to come. More than 30 modern computers have been installed in one of the classrooms. Over time, I think there will be more of them. But for now, they are waiting for you. So go ahead and go use them. Walk in the direction of knowledge. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> So, tell me, how is our Pete doing? Oh, Pete. Pete's having the best time ever. Yeah, I just need more time. Sure? I'm sure he's not going anywhere. Oh. I know how to treat a man. Let's take a ride. Oh, this is nice. Thanks. You are very nice to me, dear. Of course. You're the only family I have left. Yeah, to be honest, you had no choice but to stay with me. When your parents died, I took care of you. All of those years, I took care of you. Money, all your education. I gave you everything. So don't forget, Viola. You owe me a lot, and you will be paying it back for a long time. Are you comfortable, Grandpa? Now tell me. This Pete Zerbin, that guy, does he spend a lot of money on you? He spends enough. He needs to spend more on you. Make him spend more and more, and when all of his money is gone, we'll be done with him. He'll be ruined and alone. Do you understand me, my dear? Hmm? He's taking me to get jewelry today. Yeah? Mm -hmm, yeah. He wants to buy me a necklace. That's great. A necklace is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Grandpa, don't worry. I will ruin him. Good girl. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so how much did those computers for the school cost us? No worry. Almost nothing. Where's Pete? What is it? Well, actually, there is something I wanted to talk to you about. All right. Today's still a holiday. <sighs> tomorrow we'll be busy at school again. Yep. Do you by any chance know if they pay extra for full-time teachers? Nope. Are you interested? I don't know. Oh. Look. See that sweet couple there? Mm-hmm. That's Pete Serving's brother. And the girl? He's, of course, his new girlfriend. <laughs> That's, That's correct. That's what they say. Yeah. You have a visitor. Who? Your brother's wife is in your office. Do you want to talk about it later? Mm. All right, I'll give you a call. I'll call you back later. I didn't know Peter was with her. Yes. I had to have him investigated. It seems her name is Viola. She works at a fashion magazine for the gossip column department. She's not married. And, of course, she has the body of a yes, model. Yes, I know her. Do you know her? Yes, we met here. I think it was three months ago, quite by accident. Wait, I don't understand. What do you mean by accident? Is there a secret door here? Do you hold secret parties here at your no, office? No, of course not. She came to interview me. We were alone. And she wanted to do a striptease for me. I threw her out the door. And then Pete... That's a very romantic story. Since that day, Pete does not spend the night at home. He travels to London for ten days on a business trip. Then to Moscow to coordinate something. Julia, you shouldn't get so agitated about that. He really flew to London and Moscow, but he returned a couple of days ago. Of course he was there, but he wasn't alone, I am sure. 
I don't understand. Are you on his side? No, no, Julia. Please, you need to try to understand me. I don't want to get involved in your marriage. Where are all these photos from? Are you sure this is not Photoshop? Well, if you think these photos are fake, then you can have this. I advise you to watch it in your free time. It's fun. This recording was made by a private detective. Ten days ago, in a very expensive hotel in Moscow. So you hired a private detective to follow him? Spend money on it. Are you preparing yourself for a war? Talk to your brother soon, Ivan. Do you understand? Yes, you're right. That Serban guy seemed very sincere to me. And you know, he seems like a real man. Yeah, he's a real man, right? Oh, yes. he has money. A guy like that is not easy to find. Listen, do you think he might go for a lady like me? Be honest, come on. Olivia, come on. <laughs> you're just like my daughter, with her head in the clouds. Go make up with your fireman boyfriend. Oh, come What's on. What's the worst that could happen? You have nothing to lose. Just go ahead and do it. Really? Yes. You know I knew he would do something like this, but uh... Wait, it came from school. Irina, are you okay? Yes, it's just I saw the ambulance. And I thought about Lisa. Why is that? She dreamed of some kind of cranes last night, and she was flying there with them. Irina, for a second. what okay. cranes? Irina! Kids, uh, we were just about to call you an ambulance. Well, what's wrong with her? You know, the children were playing, running around, and then Lisa's face turned blue and she grabbed her tummy and... Was it serious? Uh, it was nothing terrible. She just fainted and she probably got too excited. Everyone was... What crying. do you mean? Stop that. You'll get hurt. Are you okay? Please don't worry. Don't worry. Are you out of your mind or what? Wait, wait. Give me a second. Where was she taken? To the ninth hospital. The ninth? Listen, if anything that happened to Lisa was your fault, you will answer to me, understand? Irina, Irina, breathe, my dear, I'm with you. She told me this morning she had a bad dream. Breathe, breathe. Yeah, she told me about it. Calm down, I have dear. to go. So you knew that Pete was having an affair? Yeah. And you didn't tell me? I thought it was a one-time thing. Mm-hmm. And what was the point? If you try to talk to him about his life, he'll remind you that it was you who forced him to marry Julia. That he didn't want she to be with She was having his baby. There were no options. Now we have to handle this. If not, Viola... She might do real damage. If Julia decides to divorce him, how much will that cost the business? She could claim a part of Pete's shares, at, at least. And her chances of winning? Very high. Huh. Poor children. Search stutters like I did. Nika gossips like Pete. We grew up without a father and I was a father to him. He was like a son to me, come on. Yes, you spoiled him, Ivan. He is really spoiled. He doesn't know the value of- Timothy, money. stop. After all, he's my brother. 
Who else will tell you this, if not me, huh? Okay. I'll talk to him, but not now. He might come to his senses on his own. Ivan. Yeah? There's something else. What is it? Do you know where Pete has been spending his time lately? Casinos. He takes the girl with him. She got him into the game. He likes gambling now. This doesn't get any easier. You know, I have friends who hang out at those places. Former friends. And one of them told me that they're saying that Pete Zerbin spent $20,000 in one night. That's too much. Way too much. So he's a gambler now. Just like I used to be. I don't forget that, Ivan. I owe you everything I have in my life. I know. I remember how you saved me from that world, Ivan. Come on, forget it. Just tell me what to do with Pete. Viola? We need to get him away from her. Okay. All right, I'll go talk to him. It's time to go. And then, when we finished playing ball, my friends and I, we wanted to go down the slides. And I was there, waiting for my turn. And then, I felt as if I had swallowed something. I began to choke, and then I don't remember anything. Mom, is everything all right? Mom, am I okay? Mom, why are you crying? <sighs> Lisa, I'm not crying. But I need you to tell me the truth, please. And I won't be mad at you. <sighs> tell me someone pushed you, or I don't know, maybe someone accidentally hit you. You have to tell me, my dear. tell you the truth, always. Why don't you believe me? At least I believe you. But it's a little strange to lose consciousness for no, for no reason at all. Do you understand that, my dear? The doctor's ready. He will see you now. Thanks. I'm on my way. Lisa, get some rest, all right? I'll be right back, okay? Don't worry. This is good. Well done. Did he invite you to his birthday dinner too? Uh, he did. They say the general manager will be there. We need to go. I hear everything, doctor. By the way, my deputy is going to be promoted to Sagerson's one. So there will be an opening soon. We need an employee who understands the strategy of our company. You may go now. Everything's fine. Oh, and be on time for... Tonight's dinner. I don't like people who are late. Arena. Hello, I'm home. How was your first day of school? Hello? Where are you? Honey, hello? Hello? Where are you? Listen, Lisa got hurt, and she's in the hospital right now. An ambulance took her here. Ambulance? So are you at the hospital with her? Yes, yes. Mm, that's too bad. When will you be back? I don't know yet, Alex. What do I do? What should I tell my boss about the dinner? 
Well, I don't have time for dinners right now. Could you go do that by yourself? By myself? What should I wear? Well, you I... can come in now. Thank you. Alex, I'll talk to you the doctor now. Your child has been diagnosed with congenital heart disease. That's all I can tell you at the moment. What did you say? Heart disease? Yeah. We will know more about it when we get the lab results. <laughs> tell me, has your daughter recently had some kind of respiratory illness? Yes. This is most likely the trigger of the disease. So it's going to be necessary to run a complete examination. It doesn't make sense. She's only six years old. Please, I ask you to do everything you can to... We'll do whatever's necessary. First of all, we need a blood test. A fluoroscopy to clarify the level of cardiographic changes. And repeat the echocardiogram. All of those things? Yeah. Usually, congenital heart disease is diagnosed at the early stages of a child's life. In the first month, but sometimes there are exceptions, as in your case, unfortunately. I'm sorry, doctor. But... But could there be a mistake with the diagnosis? You're so young, don't get me wrong. In theory, it could. But that's not the case. You need to trust me. I see. And how serious is her condition, then? The heart disease? Yeah. It's always serious. Yeah, and there's a cure for it, right? Dr. Edward? Yeah? You asked for this. Oh yeah, thank you. Mm Yes. Okay, I'll be right there soon. Talk to you later. Yeah, bye. How is she? The preliminary diagnosis... is heart disease. Does Alex know? Yeah. Ollie, I'm sure you understand. That when a child is not yours, well... Irina... <sighs> He's at a dinner. An informal dinner his boss invited him to. Uh, this... This man... Help and support, mm-hmm. At his slightest trouble, they run so fast you don't see them leave. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, he said... He loved Lisa like his own child. Well, clearly. That was bull, dear. Yes, I know. Hello. Forgive me, Irina. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. I just didn't understand what's going on. She is sick. You need support now more than ever. You can count on me. They'll be fine without me at dinner. Alex, thank you for being here. Okay, guys. I gotta go. And you, Alex, take care of her, okay? Bye, see you guys, stay strong. She'll be fine, all right? Hmm? She'll be fine, you'll see. Okay, show me. Here, a gift from Pete. <laughs> oh, that was not cheap. <laughs> I chose it myself. <laughs> Ivan didn't fall in love with you, but Pete fell head over heels. And you know, <laughs> if everything goes right, Pete will play the role of a Trojan horse in my strategy against them. And he won't even notice how all his money will go to me. We got your boyfriend now. And the main thing is to get him to do it for us. Can you do that? Of course. How much time do you think that will take? 
Well, I think two weeks. Hmm. Pete, of course, is not enthusiastic about his brother. But it's a serious step. We need preparation here. Preparation is needed, yeah. But time is pressing. If they find me before I repay my debt, I'm a dead man. Goodbye. And... You... will be left alone, my dear. How much do you owe them? Three million dollars. Three million dollars? Yeah, but don't worry, I'll be fine. Gambling debt is a difficult thing. That's why you and I always meet here where no one can find us. And who are these people? You don't need to know that. It's good that they don't know that you're my granddaughter. Otherwise, they would have contacted me long ago. All right, let's take a walk now. My legs are getting numb. Okay, careful, Grandpa. I want to give you an address. <sighs> you need to find someone for mm -hmm. me. <sighs> they call him Knuckle. The real name is Igor Konstantinov. Tell him it's from me. Is he going to solve the issue with his urban brother? Yes, he will. He will know what to do. And you will discuss other things with him as well, my dear. And please, don't start an affair with Knuckle. He's a dangerous guy. You don't want to mess with him. Hmm? I don't hear the word clear. Clear. Hi, Peter. Is this what you do now, huh? I can't believe you're breaking into your own house like a thief. I forgot my keys at the apartment. <sighs> I didn't want to wake you up. Is that bad? Are you completely broke now? What? What? You're taking all my jewelry. You don't wear it anyway. I'll give it back soon. Do you even realize who you've turned into, Pete? Not your business. Tell me, how is she better than me? You're Viola, huh? What Viola? I'm off. Say hello to Wait, the kids. Wait, is that it? That's it. You're nothing, you know that? I don't know what to tell the kids about where their dad is hanging around. Oh. <laughs> yes, Julia. Hi. Hello, listen, I can't come right now. Important meeting. <laughs> Wait a minute, tell me exactly what's going on, please. And where is Pete? Uh, okay, I'll be there. Wait for me.
Ivan, a lot of things have happened between us before, but this is... Yes. I know it sounds stupid, but maybe you shouldn't take it so personally. After all, you have children together. I He'll understand. get over and come back. You protect him. You are on his side. How did I not know that? Why would I be on someone's side? Do you even understand why he took my jewelry? He took it to the pawn shop. He's broke. Completely broke. No way. He told me himself. He said he'll win it back gambling. Did he really lose everything? Since you asked me before, I am telling you this now, Ivan. I'm filing for divorce. Wait. Let's talk about it again. <laughs> Can we? Sounds like a good idea. All right, let's discuss it. I'm listening. I'll talk to him. He'll return the jewels to you. I beg you, don't rush with a divorce. Ivan, I would have left him long ago. You know that. But I worry about the children. They miss him. They miss him a lot, you know? Hello? Hello? Come in, have a seat. I'll finish soon, so... I have some bad news for you, ma'am. Most likely your girl will need surgery soon. I'm sorry. Surgery? Yes. And what do I... What do I need to do now? Should I... Well, first of all, calm down. Don't worry. Secondly, such surgeries are carried out in four cities in the country. And those clinics are amongst the best in the world, but you should understand that this procedure is not likely to be free. It is going to be quite expensive. Well, I see. What could the cost be? You know what? Let's ask for a quotation. Good afternoon. Hello. Could you tell me where can I find Lisa Agarov? One second, please. Uh, you need to go to the cardiology department, ward number 206. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, uh, Irene. Hello. Hello. I came to see you. I mean to Lisa. Can we talk for a second? Forgive me, please. I was very scared that day. I wasn't thinking right. Don't worry, it's not your fault. The doctor explained that it was a, a complication after an acute respiratory infection. We shouldn't have yelled at you, I'm very sorry. No, I understand. How's Lisa? The children are worried about her. Let's hope for the best. Mm, she'll be fine. Okay, I bought her some vitamins, don't even think about refusing, and... I found this in her locker. Thank you, Lisa will be happy. We've talked to the other teachers. If you need something, you should definitely contact us. Do not hesitate, we will always help you. You can count on us. You know that. Thank you so much. It's the first time something like this happens at school. Don't worry, really. And say hello to our classmates. Mm -hmm. We thank you for all your support. Of course. Stay strong. Everything will be fine. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Why are you answering my calls? I was out of the city and forgot my phone. Why do you suddenly need me? I was at your home talking to Julia. 
So she's already told you. Bitch. She's the mother of your children, So Pete. what? I didn't even want to marry her. Okay? I offered to take her to the doctor when the pregnancy was just starting. Do you know what? I don't have my own children yet. Yours are like my children. And if I hear this again even once... <sighs> okay, Ivan. What's wrong? You know I love my kids very much. But I have problems We're with Julia. We're going to the pawn shop right now. We're getting the jewelry back. And then we will figure out your issues. I see you can't solve them yourself. Let's go. I give you this doll as a gift. Her name is Vasilisa. Thank you. Mom, look at my doll. Wow, what a beauty, huh? My friend Kate gave it to me. Hello, everyone. Oh, look who came to visit us. Uncle Alex, hello. I wanted to see you before work. Uncle Alex, have you seen Dasha from second grade lately? No, I haven't. Why, dear? It's her birthday today. She invited me. If you see her, tell her I'm in the hospital and won't be able to come. Tell her I'm sorry. Okay, I'll tell her. Also, can you please tell her how much I miss her? Don't worry. I'll let her know. Irina, can I talk to you for a second? Honey, I'll be right back, okay? Well, what is the diagnosis? They said they will tell me today. Don't worry ahead of time. Maybe it'll be fine. Listen, can we go somewhere for a date? Alex, are you kidding? Lisa is sick. I know she's sick. But look at yourself. You look tired. You need to take care of you too. When Lisa recovers, I'll do that. When she's fine. I'm sorry, really. I really can't do this right now. Alex, you should understand. Listen, what if she... Uh, really needs a surgery, huh? Everything will be fine. Oh, sweetie. Can you give this to Anthony? Can you do that for me? Okay. Okay? Who will you give it to? To Anthony. That's it. And tell everyone that I'll be the teacher for today, okay? Yes, of course. Hello, Mrs. Vickerman. Oh, hello, girls. Do hello. Do you know when Mrs. Egera will be back at school? Soon. Very soon, girls. Soon. Is it true her daughter is sick? Uh, she did, but I heard that Liz is getting well, so... Don't worry, girls. Soon Miss Egera will be back with us. Yay. Yeah! Bye-bye! Goodbye, girls. So, my friends, why are you sitting there, huh? Go back to class. Quickly, quickly, go! So, where was I going? Uh-huh. I see. I talked to my colleagues, and we agreed to show the lab results of the studies to Professor Nassif. Where can I find him? You don't need to find him. The professor is right here to be the speaker at the medical seminar. I hope he can find an opportunity to examine your daughter tomorrow. Okay. Okay, well, that's it. Thank you. I'm sorry, I really need to ask you this. I was wondering, could you tell me if my daughter will need surgery or not? Because I need to know if we are- Mrs. Segorov, the question right now is not whether a surgery is needed or not. What matters right now is who will be able to carry it out and where. Do you understand that? I do. Okay then. 
I got everything from the punch shop. Okay, I'll give it to Julia. Please wait. Let's talk. Okay. Let's talk. Can you give me some money? Some money? How much? Get me an unlimited card from the bank, so that I can withdraw any amount. I'll pay it back with the earnings. Not a problem. But first, you need to promise me something. Tell me. Forget about the gambling. You can't gamble again. Never. I see. You already know? What else? Get back together with your wife. Forget about your mistress, Viola. Go back to your family. That's a big thing to ask. And if I refuse? Then I won't be able to help you. Oh, really? I'm receiving my dividends in three months. Do you know what I'll do then? I'll sell my shares. And I'll give them to your competitors. Sell the shares that I gave my brother? Sell them out of spite? Oh yes. You're a fool, Peter. You do not have access to those shares without my consent. And why is that? Because that's how it works, brother. And I will never give my consent. You know that. But what should I do? Start thinking about your life. My offer stays the same. Is that your final word? Yeah. You're not my brother. I hate you. I hate you. You hate me? So, it turns out that Timothy was right. I wasted my time on you. I protected you. I should have left you to live in misery. Maybe you would have done something with yourself, find a way to survive. But I failed. <sighs> All right. Can I? Of course you can. Just answer me honestly, okay? Mm. Mom, does it hurt to die? Lisa, let's not talk about this right now, okay? You know what we're gonna do? As soon as you're discharged, we will go on a trip, okay? Mm -hmm. And we'll take Alex with us. You want that? I do. And I also have one very big request for you. Please. Remember one very important thing. You're going to be absolutely alright. Okay? Yes, Mom. I'll be fine. I'm looking for Knuckle. I've been told you know where to find him. Do you want a drink? 
If you help me find him, you'll get twice as much. I think maybe I can help. Who is trying to find him? Tell him it's an old friend. Who one day put in a word for him in front of the monochrome. He will understand. Okay. Hello, Mr. Alex. Hello. I am your new employee. Oh, really? Yes, my name is Yana. I'm your trainee. Oh, okay. Um... I already talked to the boss, and he said that there are only two employees who could explain everything to me. And precisely, one of them is you. Well, yes. And I've decided I want you to train me. Thank you. So will you help me adapt to the office? I really need very positive feedback. <sighs> and I can be really grateful to you, you know? Hello, Alex! Hey! Sasha! <laughs> Hello! Oh, <laughs> Alex! <laughs> Hi, we haven't seen you in ages. Probably five years, right? Yeah, I think so. Listen, let's get out of town tomorrow for a barbecue. What do you think? We'll take our better halves with us and spend the night. Thanks, but no, I can't. Irene is in trouble. She can't go, and I don't think she'll understand if I go by myself. Uh, well, here's my phone number. Hmm. Well, Alex, my friend, stay in touch, will you? For sure. It's gonna be great seeing you. Goodbye. See you. Like it? <laughs> I want to wear it for tonight. Do you like it? Yes, but plans have changed for tonight. We won't be able to go to the casino. Well, I hope we don't get bored tonight. No, mm -hmm. we're having a private dinner. <gasps> <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> okay, darling. Whatever you say. Thank you for your purchase. It'll be 45000 All purchases will be delivered to the specified address. Thank you. Are you ready? Let's go. Honey. Don't be mad. You need to do something. Yeah. But how? There's only you and Ivan. If Ivan... <clears throat> if Ivan happens... to get into an accident with a fatal outcome, you will become the sole owner of the company. Enough. 
Stop right there. We've discussed it. I don't want my future husband to live in poverty. You could be the head of the business. Ivan has created an empire. Exactly. You have to get rid of Ivan and take his place as the owner. I won't hurt my brother. I won't. I should talk to him again. Peter, my dear, promise me that you will think carefully about our conversation, okay? Yes, I promise, love. Shall we? Goodbye. Close the door, please. Are you Knuckle, then? I am. How did you get in here? So tell me, Zlat. What does Nathan need from me? <laughs> My grandfather? It seems he was right about you. You really are a bad boy, huh? What else he said? I'll tell you later. But for now... All right, gentlemen, students. Let's finish for today, okay? See you tomorrow at the seminar. All the best. Goodbye. We can talk. Dr. Nassif, it's about Lisa Aguilar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Here are the lab results. And here's the echocardiogram. Actually, I diagnosed her based on it. I see, I As see. you can see, the results are not very promising. Let me take another look. Dr. Nassif, good afternoon. I'm Lisa's mother. My name's Irina. Nice to meet you. Have a seat, please. Irina, I will be very straight with you. The thing is, your daughter is terminally ill.
How is that possible? She's been feeling great. She hasn't had any real health issues. Everything is... I understand. Unfortunately, it's true. Well, the doctor told me that she might need surgery and... Only an expensive surgery in Germany could help this at this point. And that would cost around a hundred thousand euros. Wait, do you remember you told me something about doctors doing surgeries for free? That applies to surgeries performed in local clinics only. Your situation is completely different now. I see. Dr. Nassif. Yeah? Of course, I will try to get the money. I beg you, please do everything. Everything you can to help her get course, better. Of course, of course. I will personally send the medical records to my German colleagues and uh, they will review them and prepare all the necessary documents for Lisa's trip to Germany. Don't worry about that. But without the money, this surgery is impossible. I understand that. Could you just tell me how long do I have to get the money? A year? Uh, half a year? Unfortunately, we don't have that much time left. Without the surgery, Lisa will leave. Two months, maybe. No more than that. Without the surgery, Lisa will leave. Two months. I'm sorry. We have a meeting with the investors, don't yeah, forget. Goodbye. Goodbye. Brother, I... I'm sorry, I... I lost my temper, yesterday, really. I thought about your offer, <laughs> but first, can you give me some money? Honestly, I don't have a penny left. We discussed that yesterday. But you're my brother. You are. So, you help strangers and not me? Who else... Who else can I go to but you? Who? Tell me! All right. Thank you, Ivan. I'm... I'm sorry, I... It's okay, Pete. It's okay. Ivan, what is this? Is this a joke? 30,000 per month. I spent 30,000 in two nights at a restaurant. This is humiliating. It's humiliating. That's enough, you hear me? Not the best way to deal with issues. I need more. Conversation's over. I'll be back. Fucking psycho. It's okay, it's okay. It's fine, everything's fine, relax, I'm here. Open your eyes. Fine. Fine, fine, everything's fine. It's fine. Shh, 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 shh. It's fine. You need to drink some water. Please let me get you some. Please. 
Try to calm down. Have some water, please. Mister, have some water. Just a little, just a little. Come on, come here. Bring up, bring up. Slowly, slowly. That's it, that's it. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. You need to pull yourself together. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Calm down. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Is there someone who can come and take care of you? Yes. Yes? Okay. Your situation is difficult, yes. But now you must believe in miracles, okay? Everything will be fine. Please calm down. No, I can't. I can't. Calm down. You need to calm down and listen to me. I need you to start working on getting money for the surgery, all right? I've made all the necessary clinical reports from the medical history. You can use them to start fundraising money. Understand? Yes. yes. Okay, that's good. Now I'll tell you what to do. I'll wait for you out here. All right. What is it? It's all set. I've got the bank account. Let's go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to see Mr. Valley. He's busy right now. Excuse me, but could you make sure he gets these documents, please, and I can wait for him out here? I'll pass it on, and you can wait outside. Thank you. Mr. Vasiliev will see you now. Thank you. <sighs> All right, we'll know that our colleague, Irina Egorov, is in trouble. Her daughter is seriously ill and needs funds for an expensive surgery. And listen, friends, I am well aware of the situation we're all in, and I know everyone has their own plans and their own problems, and that every penny counts. But still, I'd like to humanely ask for help since we're starting a fundraising. Yes, thanks, Olivia, for your words. And I'd like to say that donations for this great cause are now gladly being accepted. Olivia Vickerman will be responsible for this event. And I'd like you to know that this cause is very important to everyone in our community. So please donate and spread the word. It's a priority. Yeah. It is indeed. Yes. It's too much. Irene, I'm sorry the amount is too big, considering what you make. Yes. That's because I'm only a school teacher, you know? Mm, yes. Mm, by the way, we have elections in six months. I'll tell you in confidence and without false modesty. 
I don't see anyone else taking my place. Hmm. The city has reached great heights with me as a leader. Hmm. Do you need proof? I got it. Come take a look. Here, you can see our old ladies competing at the regional amateur art show. They won first place, of course. That's me with the electrocardiogram there. That's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And this is a certificate of cleanliness for the city streets. Actually, after two capital cities and three regional centers, we're almost at the prize-winning sixth place of honor. Yes. <laughs> and this one here is my special personal pride, you know. Our football team, the Lumberjacks. The money I have invested in them so far. And I can't even get them into first division. <laughs> They're idiots. Uh... <laughs> So, dear Irina, I will certainly raise the issue of helping your child at the next session. It will be my pleasure entirely. Thank you. Uh, in the meantime, I think it makes sense for us to appeal to the general public of the city. You know people here are not rich, but I'm sure they will help you. Mm -hmm. Have you asked the local newspaper? No. Have you contacted the local TV station? Mm. Okay, one second. <laughs> That's where we'll start. Yes, Mr. Nikolov. Hello, my friend. Listen, there's one thing that needs to be covered by your channel. Miss Irina Egorov will come to see you soon. Egorov. Yes, and listen, I want to ask you, please make sure that it is emphasized that this is conducted under the personal supervision of the city mayor. Yes, this is my own initiative. Yes, I don't think I need to explain further. All right. Thank you. He's an idiot. An idiot. He humiliated me. He embarrassed me with that money. How many times have I told you? He doesn't need you. Timothy is like a brother to him, and you? You're a distant relative. I know, I know. You're right. You know, I know a person who could help us solve the situation with Ivan, once and for all. No. No. Wait, let me think. Let me... Stop stuttering. All right. But listen to me. I don't want to know any of the details. And you should remember my one condition. Divorce your wife and marry me. I'm not going to be your mistress forever. <laughs> okay, my dear? <laughs> And literally, almost immediately, money began flowing into the account. At the moment, we have 52,000. Well, that's great news. If things continue like this, you will definitely raise the money on time. You have a little more than half the amount left to collect. <laughs> no, you misunderstood me. <sighs> Actually, by now, we have collected less than half the money we need. Oh, that's a pity. The documents arrived from Germany. They are waiting for you. Thanks. And there's something else. You can take your daughter home. Here we have done everything we can for her. Now Lisa needs fresh air and lots of rest at home. Okay. That's all for now. Thank you. Princess. Mm. Hello, dear. How are you? I'm fine. Well, I'm happy to hear. How is it at school? Well, lots of work. Forgot about me? Uh, how could we? Here.
take it. This is from our staff to Lisa, and don't even try to refuse. <sighs> What's this? What's this? <laughs> well, open and see. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, you don't you don't need to do this. It seems like a lot. Well, I don't know if it's a lot, but everyone donated as much as they could. Everyone did it just for you. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Levy. You understand that every penny counts in this race against time for us. Yeah. If only I was Rockefeller's wife. No. If anyone can, it's you. Listen, Irina. I know someone who can really help us with this. Who? Serbin. Serbian? Ivan Serbin. Hmm? Ah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the name of his charity foundation? Uh, I think it's... something about a child's smile. Yes. And Lisa is a what? A child. Serban, good afternoon. Could I talk to you for a couple of... I'll leave it with my secretary. I'll take a look at it later. Good afternoon. Mr. Serban just told me I could leave my documents with you. What is your name? I'm Irina Egorov. My information is here. Egorov? Yes. Please, could you hand over these documents to Mr. Servan as soon as possible? It's very, very important. Of course, I'll do that. When will I be able to get an answer? Mm, I think within a week. Excuse me, but please... Do you think Mr. Servan will be able to help? He will definitely help you. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Hi, sister. You won't guess who I just met at the office. Irina Agarov. Yes, the same. My ex now lives with her. What do you mean, forget? I am still in love with him. So what? Yes. I kicked him out, but that's up to me, okay? Yes, something wrong with her child. What do I think? I think that Serban won't be able to help. In fact, I'll make sure of that. I'll call you later. What happened? Alex, I think he'll help us. Really? I really hope he will. That's great news. I'm so happy, you can't imagine. I want everything to be back to normal soon. Including us. Alex, I really want that too. I love you. I've got news. Timothy will be out of the country. In a week, he will be gone for ten days. That's great. We can't let Timothy ruin the plan. I talked to the person I told you about. Are you sure about him? Yes. Okay. I don't want to know anything else. And you don't need to know, my love. Just don't forget about our agreement. I won't forget. Viola, main thing is that everything goes as planned. And it will. The prince galloped on his white, beautiful horse to this high castle, to the highest tower, and he rode up and saw his beloved by the window, his beautiful, very beautiful princess. And the princess opened the window, she threw out the rope ladder, 
went down with it. And the prince picked her up in his arms with joy, put her on his horse, and they galloped together while she held him away from the palace. And they lived happily ever after. Irina, I'm waiting for you. Yes, hello? Are you the woman collecting money for a surgery? Yes, hi, can you help us? Help you? You're a scammer. Get a job hiding behind your daughter to steal money? A surgery. Listen, I... <sighs> oh my god, only idiots call. Irene, I supported you as best I could. I did everything to help Lisa. Lisa. I, hope I hope that, that everything works yeah. out. But last night, I finally understood the reason for the distance between us. We are different people now. When I met you, you were cheerful and happy. The world around me flashed with bright colors when you smiled. But everything is different now. Please understand me. I am exhausted. If Lisa were my child, I would stay. I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. Please try to understand. Goodbye, Alex. such a beautiful dream last night. We were walking in a castle, and the queen was there with us, and she was playing with us too. Oh, really? Yeah. That's amazing. Sweetheart, what do you want for breakfast today? I want oatmeal today. Oatmeal. Okay, sit down. I'll make it. Where's Uncle Alex? Uncle Alex, come have breakfast. Lisa, you know... Uncle Alex probably won't come here anymore. Did you have a fight with him? Well, yeah, something like that. Mom, you love Uncle Alex. Make peace with him. <laughs> you need to understand, Lisa. I don't think that well, this will work anymore. We don't need cowards here. Is it because of me? No, please don't say things like that. Yes, I know it is. Yes, I will definitely pass it on to him. Okay, perhaps tomorrow? Mm, Good of afternoon. Course, yes, I'll call you back. Sorry, it's been a week and... Egorov, right? Ivan Serban refused to help you. Refused? Excuse me, what did he say? That's all. Please give me his phone number, I'll call him. He's not available. He's out of the country. Uh, when will he be back? I think he'll be back in two months. Thank you. Hello. 
Hello. Mrs. Segarov! Mrs. Segarov! Hello. Hello, girls. How are you? When will you be back? Is your daughter better now? Girls, I'm leaving the school. Why would you leave? Mm, well, that's how things turned out. We have a new teacher now, but you are better. And everyone is still waiting for you. Thanks, girls. Thank you very much. Go to class, okay? Come in. Hello, Mrs. Petrov. Hello, Irina. Come in. What can I help you with? Do you need to extend your parental leave? Mrs. Petrov, everything is written in detail here. You just need to sign that at the bottom. Resignation letter? Why did you write this? Who will teach German here if not you? <sighs> Sorry, my mind is made up. You see... We only have one month left, and I would like to go with Lisa to the village to spend to spend time alone with her, you know? What about the surgery? What about the trip to Germany? I plan on calling the bank from there to find out how things are going. The fact is that we have only raised 23,560 euros. Well, I understand. But why resign? You live so close to us. Actually, I've sold my apartment. Why did you do that? Irina, you need to pull yourself together. Everything will be fine with your child. You know, my husband and I were going to go to Egypt to see the pyramids and all that, but you need it more than we do. No way, Mrs. Petrov. Really, I can't. Please don't. Come on, take it. I'm embarrassed. And I wouldn't want to think that I came here asking for money. No, 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 Mrs. Petrov. Thank you. No. No, no, no. Thank you, but no. A mother would do anything for her child. Thank uh, you. Have you contacted Zerbin at the Foundation? He has helped the school. Yes, I did. But they refused to help me and Lisa, so... That's strange. She seems very nice to me. Doesn't matter. Thank you very much. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Goodbye. So nice to see you. Hello, Dimitri. Hello, my little one. Hello. So, have you decided to visit the lake house again? Yes, if possible for a month. <laughs> no problem, of course. Are you staying? <laughs> yes, we're staying, but I don't know how to get to the house. Could you help us?
one more. We had a great time. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Come on. Mom, I have a question. What is it, dear? When will the angels come for me? Like that girl from the hospital. When the cranes fly south. Right? Dear, please. Don't think about that, okay? I promise you, everything will be alright. Okay? Come here. Mom, look what I can do! 